gonna drill these holes uh, in my base plate using an eight mil spiral upcut router bit. It just drills through perfectly and I can set my fence and use some stops to do that really simply. But if you don't have a spiral upcut bit, you can use your drill press. The measurements that you'll need is we're gonna go 60 mil from each edge, 135 mil from the end with our sliding clamping plate and 50 mil from the edge with our fence. Now that the reason that we've chosen these measurements are the, the 60 mil in from both sides, it just is, that's fairly arbitrary. You just need two points to affix everything. The 135 mil from the end works really well because it allows you to slide this sliding plate the maximum distance to get the most use out of this coping sled so that you can put a piece in here up to about 160, 170 mil wide or clamp something down to closer to 19. So that gives you the most amount of versatility. And the reason we have set these holes 50 mil from this edge is because our fence is 70 mil. We don't want these holes centered because of the way that the uh, toggle clamps apply force to the fence. We want those holes close to that edge where the toggle clamp is gonna be attached and that just distributes the force more evenly, but we can't put them too close to the edge or those um, knobs and washers will hit our little sacrificial fence. So we've got 135 and I'm, um, I've actually described those measurements as 135 to the edge of the hole. If it was 135 to the center, that's okay too. It's only gonna be a difference of a few mil. Once I've set the depth of my fence to be 60 mil from the router bit to the fence, I can then use these little spaces that I've created, one at 135 mil and one at 50 mil, to actually make sure that I get those measurements the same on both, uh, both of my holes without having to measure it by hand each time. So the way I use these little guys is I place it up against the fence, I bring my stock to the edge of that spacer, lock that in place, I can then remove the spacer and then drop my board using that stop down onto the router bit, flip it over, drop it down and both of those holes will be exactly the same distance from the edge. I can use my larger spacer to repeat that process on this end as well. Works really cleanly. The uh, spiral upcut bit drills through really easily. You get a perfectly clean hole and they're exactly where you want them to be. So as you can see, those are our four holes drilled. Like I said earlier, you can do all of this on the drill press if you wish. You can't do this with a standard straight bit because it doesn't plunge in a straight line, you'd have to wiggle it. Uh, so the spiral upcut bit worked perfectly and it means that we can then use that spiral upcut bit in exactly the same position to do our sliding clamping plate. Now, the way we do this is we just get this stop out of the way We've got our 30 mil lines on each side. This is one I did earlier, but I'll, I will go through the cutting process. This can get out of the way. And we, we want to be holding our, uh, holding our plate so that the short edge is along the fence. We're gonna plunge that down with the router going until it comes through. And then we're gonna slide it all the way over to one of our lines, all the way back to our other line we're gonna do that on both edges and those will give us our two slots. And now we know our slots will line up exactly with our holes, which is the reason I'm doing it all on the router table. So this is all set up, the fence is in the right place. I can do those cuts now on the uh, my uncut piece.